The road to discovering your own pottery voice isn't always going to be easy, and that's a good thing. What is up, Shape Nation? This is Nick Torres here. And for those that don't know me, it is my mission to help potters like yourself to discover your own unique voice with your pottery so you can stand out from the crowd and truly make pottery that you enjoy making. So in this episode, I'm going to be talking about how the path to finding your own unique pottery voice shouldn't be easy and it won't be easy and why that's a good thing. So very recently, I interviewed PJ Anderson and she makes some really awesome sculptures like mech robots from traditional sculptures to everything in between with her pottery. And one of the things that she told me during the interview was that when you're trying to find your own unique voice, there are going to be roadblocks in the way. There are going to be roadblocks in the way of you finding your voice. There are going to be these challenges. There's going to be everything in between that's going to keep you from finding your own unique voice. And then she went on to say that sometimes in order to find unique voice is that you need to divert from the path in order to create your own path. And that's why it's so important to have these roadblocks, these roadblocks with your pottery, these roadblocks along your journey, because these roadblocks are what's going to help you discover your own unique voice with your pottery. I don't know about you, but every single time I experiment with something new with my pottery, like what I am doing right now is I'm trying to create a diorama under a mug, but still have enough room for the liquid to have a decent amount, like to hold a decent amount of coffee or tea. So I've been really struggling with that. I couldn't come up with a way to make that come to life. And each time I failed, I'll get a little bit frustrated. I'll get a little bit frustrated. But each roadblock led me to something different. It led me a different path. Then if I failed on that path, that's another roadblock that led me down a different path. And that is so, so crucial to helping us find our unique voice, making something that is completely unique, even having an idea that is way out of this world to making that come to life. These roadblocks are so, so crucial along our way to to discover our own pottery voice because this is what's going to help us actually discover our voice. We need those roadblocks. We need those failures in order to help us discover our own voice. Let me ask you this question. What was the last roadblock you have had along your pottery journey? Was it something with glazes? Was it a shape that you were trying to do? Maybe you were trying to get to like a certain height with your pottery. Or maybe it was a certain technique with your pottery that you just couldn't seem to get. What was the roadblock that is has that you have faced before that you are currently facing right now? And ask yourself, what can you do to improve or what can you do to divert from that path so you can start seeing results? Because if you can divert from that roadblock, then you're going to start seeing new ideas pop in your mind. And each roadblock is definitely going to help you along the way. You know, think of it like a path. You got to think your journey like a path. You're going to have a path. Your journey is going to be go, 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 go. And then boom, you're going to hit a roadblock. And then so now you got to go around that. You have to go around that roadblock in order to start figuring out what to do next, what to do next. These roadblocks are so, so crucial to helping us find our voice. In order to find our voice, we have to divert from that roadblock. We have to divert from the original path we had set and go try something new to set our own path again. And each roadblock will get you closer to finding your own unique voice. So again, I ask you, what was the last roadblock you have had along your pottery journey? And how can you take those experiences to help you to start making better and start discovering your voice? I hope you guys enjoy this episode. and I'll see you guys in the next one.